these are some eye cords ready for starting a tentacular scarf. So if you actually want to begin it with the cords, knit the cords that you wish to put to fringe the end with initially, and then take them and take two stitches from each side of the cord and slip them onto spare needles. Double pointed needles are very handy because you can never get the wrong end. So there's my first cord divided up. Now here's my second one. So it's easiest to slip them off and let the stitches fold around because an eye cord is a circle of knitting. And I put the back two stitches on the back needle and the front two stitches on the front needle and just keep repeating that. Slip it off, fold it round and slip them onto their respective needles. Now when I'm ready to start working on my scarf I will knit across these stitches here on the front needle first and I'll turn the work round and knit across the back layer of stitches and set it up in the round so that I'm comfortable working on my scarf. And here's our scarf in the round now and I'm working it on one long circular needle. I've just finished knitting this stitch so I'll pull the back needle out and then I'll slide this stitch which is the one I want to knit next to the tip of the needle and take the yarn from the back and off I go knitting in the round. This is known as the magic loop method or one long circular needle to knit in the round. Once I've attached all my fringes and done some knitting, I can then tidy up this lower edge if I wish. There will be quite big gaps between the various eye cords, so I'm going to use the tail that we left just to neaten up and close up the gaps. Think like a stitch. There's no right way to do it, but you're looking to make the stitches happy. Now I've come through the tube and I'm going to duplicate this one stitch, just doing an exact copy with my darning needle. And then I'm going to thread my darning needle down through the tube, which is what an eye cord is. It's a four stitch knitted tube. And I'll thread it as far as I can and then pull the tail out. Then I'm going to stretch it up and I still have a little tuft of tail. So I'll snip that off and give it a little pull and that end is neatened, the gap is closed between the eye cords and it's effectively hidden. I'm going to neaten up the tip of this eye cord and this lo looks a little loose and baggy just there. So I'm going to use, use my darning needle to catch anything that looks like it needs securing. Slide up the tube a little way. Stretch it out. Duplicate one stitch. And then take the needle back inside the tube again as far as I comfortably can and pull the tail out then give it a little pull and now I can neaten the tail up and make sure it hides inside the tentacle. So there are our neatened tentacles.